Thanks. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun, but yeah, um, I have to start with prayer answering. Of course, you are the god of atheism. I I'm, I won't say I'm the god of atheism. I just say I'm better than the god of Christianity. And so I mentioned people that you know if they'd like to, they could send in their prayers on postcards, um, and I would you know answer their prayers, and. So <laughs> they're sending them in. <laughs> I ha they are sending them in. Um, this is a, a, a few from this week. Uh, I'll note first of all, this isn't a postcard. You know, just like I did last week, this is not remotely a postcard. And I told people that you know, it didn't have to be. They could like cut out of just crappy cardboard yeah. and send it down. Right. Dear Monty, since you said you are God and answer prayer, I'm sending you my prayer request as follows. I pray that you read my prayer request live on air. Prayer granted. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and I pray that you give me the winning Powerball jackpot numbers, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Which, which jackpot, Matt? I'm not telling him okay. which one it is. <laughs> At some point, those will be the winning numbers. Are they in the, uh, for the same jackpot or different jackpots? Or are you just not going to tell Matt either? you got to be more specific in these fucking prayers. Right, okay. <laughs> I mean, I gave you numbers. I guarantee you they're going to win. I just can't tell you when. Uh, in the holy and majestic name of Matty, amen. Uh, I'm neither holy nor majestic, but, you know, okay, thanks. Sincerely, Frank. P.S. Is Don the son of Matt, or is that heresy? That would be heresy as Don is older than me, and I couldn't have procreated before I was born, despite my immense powers. But if you're an omnipotent god, you could. Yes. Um, yeah, I became a god, unlike the other gods that tried to pretend like they've been around forever. Nope. I've only been a god for a short period of time. <laughs> Also, I want to point out that the failure of prayer on a repeated basis is what caused me to become an atheist, or rather, I should say, led me in that direction. As a Pentecostal Christian, I used to wonder how other religions, even Catholics, kept believing in their faith because I thought, how can they keep believing and their God saints never answer them? When I realized I had the same problem, that's when I began to doubt. So, if fellow Catholic, or former yeah. Catholic... Uh, There's a lot of us. Is there a good word for the former Catholics? Because, like, former Mormons, uh, my favorite is foreman. Yeah, no, I actually prefer recovering Catholic. Recovering Catholic, all right. Yeah. Uh, I have another postcard here that is, uh, greetings from Kentucky. Yes, I'm an atheist, and yes, I wasted money going to the Ark. Nonsense. And that's underlined with an exclamation mark. My very Christian mother commented upon leaving, Noah's Ark is something you just have to have faith in that it happened. The details are irrelevant. <laughs> the details are irrelevant. I thought the devil was in the details. I, well, that's the thing. She doesn't like the devil. And <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. Okay. Dear God, please let the Columbus Blue Jackets win the Stanley Cup this year. I don't like golf. <laughs> Sorry, that's Jim's joke, and <laughs> I give credit where it's due. That was Jim's joke. Um, failing that, please cure my gout. Uh, John, go see a doctor about your gout, and if it is in fact curable, I will in fact cure it uh, after your doctor does whatever your doctor is supposed to do. Now, I... I told people if they couldn't find a postcard, they could just cut out cardboard. And, the, and there's wow. someone who did just cut out, like, here's some from a box of Thin Mints and stuff. Um, <laughs> well, well, can most we get of a these, close-up on that? Well, well that, that's an, impre that's it, an impressive It might have a return address on oh, it. Oh, yeah, we don't um, want to do that. Okay. I, uh, so this one, this one's kind of sad. Dear Matt, I prayed, but you still ain't helping. I left my cell, my email, and my Twitter handle at the bottom. I sent two tweets back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem at the server farm or something. Sometimes I write usernames too sloppy when I type them. But anyways, fuck it. What's been up, man? How your cat's been? I've been shopping for a cat, too. I'm about to be a fur dad. If I have a male one, guess what I'm going to call him? I'm going to name him Eric. I heard about your toxic mama too, I'm sorry. I had a friend whose folks cut him off over some religious garbage. I know you probably get this a lot, but I watch you every day. I even watched the full length episode where you debated Ray. I liked the one you did to the Kona too. That shit was sad. Anyways, I hope you get this man. Hit me back. Just to pray, truly yours, your biggest fan. This is Dan. <laughs> and another one came in. Dear Matt, you still ain't helped her wrote. I hope you really care. I ain't mad. I just think it's fucked up you don't answer prayers. If you didn't want to talk to me at the Free Thought Library, you didn't have to. But you could have wrote a tweet for at Hitchfan92. He's a fresh atheist, man. He's only six weeks deconverted. 
We waited in the Austin sun for you for five hours and you just didn't show. That's pretty shitty, man. You're like his fucking idol. He wants to be just like you. He knows fallacies better than I do. I ain't that mad though. I just don't like being lied to. Remember when you said you're better than God? You said if I prayed to you, you'd answer back? See, I'm just like you in a way. I never knew life outside church either. I used to always sing things, Jesus songs and was a true believer. I can relate to what you're saying on AXP. So when I have a shitty day, I drift away and put it on. Cause I don't really got shit else to do that helps with shit so I don't need facts. I even got a tattoo of Dawkins' face on my ass. <laughs> Sometimes I post on Lakewood Church's Facebook to see how much it trolls. It's like adrenaline. Their rage is like butter on my roll. See, everything you say is real and I respect you cause you tell it. My girlfriend's pissed cause AXP is on 24 seven. But she don't pray like I pray to you, Matt. No one does. She don't know what it was like for people growing up. You gotta answer me, man. I'll be the biggest disciple you ever lose. Sincerely yours, Dan. P.S. We should be on the show together too. <laughs> Dear Mr. I'm too good to debate a priest up again. This will be the last prayer I ever send your ass. It's been two postcards and still no word. I don't deserve it. I know you got my last two cards. I wrote the addresses on them perfect. So this is the last prayer I'm sending you. I hope you get it. I'm on the Discord right now. I'm yelling, there is no God at Catholics. Hey Matt, my car runs on faith. You dare me to drive? You know the book by Jay Peterson called 12 Rules for Life about that guy who should have stood up with his shoulders back but didn't? Then Jordan Peterson told him about it and told him that he should do it? That's kind of how this is. You could have written me that drivel. Now it's too late. I've tweeted to a thousand pastors now. I'm drowsy. And all I wanted was an answered prayer or call. I hope you know I'd never hang up on you if you called. I loved you, Matt. You could have been my savior. Think about it. You ruined it now. I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you get callers defending slavery and you scream about it. I hope all six phone lines go down and you can't talk to any believers. See, Matt, shut up, faith head. I'm trying to talk. Hey, Matt, that, that's some Christian screaming on my headphones. But I didn't call his fallacy. I just told him his God's fake. See, I ain't like you. Because if he never learns, he'll dig in harder. And then he'll never pray to you. Well, got to go. I'm almost out of room on this card now. Oh, shit, I forgot. How am I supposed to mail this shit out? <laughs> Dear Dan, I meant to write to you sooner, but I've just been busy. You said you're gonna be a fur daddy. Tell me more about your kitty. Look, I'm really flattered you'd call your kitty that. And here's an autograph for HitchFan92. I wrote it on a GP cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you at the studio. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that shit intentionally just to dish you. But what's the shit you said about you like to troll some theists? I don't support that kind of shit. You should take a breather. You got some issues, Dan. I think you need perspective to help your ass from trolling folks with all of your invectives. So what's the shit about us on the show together? That's a lot of shit that happens before somebody does the show. We have to be convinced of just how good it might go. Start with Discord discussions and grow. I hope you get this letter. I hope it reaches you in time. Before you hurt the cause, I think you'll be doing fine. If you relax a little, I'm glad I inspire you, Dan. Why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do trolling shit. I seen this one shit on Reddit a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and told this guy his God was fake. He didn't try and reason, instead just called him names. The fallacy fallacy and ad hominem games bring the movement shame. Come to think of it, his name was, it was you, Dan. Damn. All right, we, we have some amazingly talented viewers. So legitimately, uh, the, the first three verses that were by Dan, uh, all credit to Dan for doing that. Not only, I mean, this is, this is somebody who went above and beyond because these are literally like there's um, uh, a kind, healthy thing, a, a Michelangelo's thing and uh, Thin Mints and he's got poems on the backside of each one of these, but he went through that song by Eminem rewrote those three verses and somebody gave it to me when I showed up at the building today and I was like, well, I know what I have to do. So I grabbed the last verse and rewrote it and then grabbed the guitar and did a quick back loop. Thanks to Vern and Mark for making all of that shit happen. Yeah. And to, uh, to Dan, who's not Dan, for writing in. Uh, yeah. Amazing, amazing talent to do that. I mean, that, that was absolutely sick and I was really, really happy to do uh, my little part in it. Uh, 